uh, in Tamco is, is, is brought to Tech Corner this week. Uh, it is, uh, Dirk, it's a, it's a, a Bluetooth uh, transmitter, I believe. Yes, it is. This is, uh, well, it looks like a cell phone. It's the size of a cell phone, but it isn't a cell phone. This is a cell phone. This is my Samsung Charge. And this is the iBlue. This is an industrial Bluetooth transmitter from ITAMCO. That is the Indiana Technology and Manufacturing Companies, based in, uh, well, strangely enough, Indiana. Imagine that. Imagine that. Uh, this was actually initially des developed by ITAMCO because they needed, on their own shop floor, on their own machining centers, they needed a way for their employees to easily be able to capture uh, measurement data and transmit it to their uh, portable devices, so whether it's a typical, initially it was designed for iPhone, iPad, and there were some apps that went with that, and there, there still are. But because it was Bluetooth, it actually made this data available to any Bluetooth device, whether it's an iPhone, an iPad, an, an Android phone, or a tablet, or as, as I'm going to use it today because it's easier to show you, a laptop. So as long as it's Bluetooth capable, it can accept measurement data using this Bluetooth transmitter. So let's take a, a little quick look at it. If we go to the gauge cam here, um, you can see, if I center this in the camera, uh, basically on the business end of it, this is the iBlue, uh, we've got three connectors. We've got a, um, a K-type um, thermocouple uh, 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 connector. We've got, a, of all things, a Lieb hardness tester uh, connector. That was because, remember, this was initially designed for their own folks and they were using Lieb uh, hardness testers out on the shop floor, so they left it with a device when they made it commercial. And also a USB connector, and this is really what I want to talk about today. So the importance about, uh, let's say, a USB connector is that if you have um, more and more devices, more and more measurement devices do have USB outputs, or if they don't, the companies that make those devices, let's say Mitotoyo or Sterrett and so forth, are creating adapter cables that will adapt their proprietary outputs to a USB so that you can more easily connect their equipment, their measurement equipment, uh, you know, calipers, dial gauges, etc., into a laptop or computer. So let's take a look at one. For instance, um, Mitotoyo, if we come back to the gauge cam here, Mitotoyo sent us a quantum mic. This is an IP65 rate, uh, rated uh, coolant proof micrometer from um, from Mitotoyo. This has a Digimatic output, but Digi um, Mitotoyo sent along with it a USB adapter cable. So this will take the Digimatic output of the Mitotoyo uh, micrometer and create and send it to a USB connector so I can plug this into any laptop or any USB capable device. Uh, I also happen to have here a uh, Mitotoyo uh, caliper. And this also has a Digimatic output. I could also connect an adapter cable, Digimatic to USB, and bring it into my laptop. Uh, Starrett does the same thing. Other companies do the same thing. But what we're going to do today is rather than take this USB and bring it into, um, uh, into our laptop, we're going to bring it right into the iBlue. So I'm going to plug this into the iBlue. And I'm also going to plug in a thermocouple. And I'll show you why. I think actually having a thermocouple uh, on the iBlue, a thermocouple input is actually brilliant because it, it really lets you do something that I think is important. So let's go to our screen share here. What we have here on my laptop is a Google Doc. Um, if you're not familiar with Google Doc, uh, Google Docs are uh, uh, applications as a service provided by Google on the cloud. They have a, a Word-like document. Uh, format and they also have a Excel spreadsheet type format because they're on the cloud anybody can share them you, you that's how you get your collaboration that's actually how we work around here so I've created a little spreadsheet and I've created some columns date temperature length and height so let's say I have a repetitive process I'm going out to the shop floor every day let's say and measuring something in order to monitor my process so I might go in and enter the date now I want to take a temperature well if we come back to the gauge cam here I have a little temperature button on the iBlue, which captures the data from the thermocouple. So I press that. Now if we come back to our screen share, we'll see that this data has been sent to our temperature column in, the, um, in, in, my, uh, in my spreadsheet here. So now I've captured my temperature, and now I'm going to take some, uh, some measurements, and we can just stay on the screen here. I'm just going to press the measurement button on my micrometer, and we see it captures a measurement, and maybe I'll take another one. And remember, this data is being transmitted wirelessly via Bluetooth, and maybe I take another measurement and another measurement. And let's say I come over to the height column, and I take some more measurements on something else, and we'll do all that, right? 
And this is, again, all wireless. So what do I have now? Well, at the end of the day, what I've got is a date, a temperature, and my measurements. What does that mean? That means that uh, I could come back, let's say, a week later or the next day, put in another date, another temperature, take some more length and height measurements, and now what I have is uh, a data, I can analyze my data not only over time and see variation over time, I can see variation over temperature range. And to me it makes perfect sense to do that because a thermocouple is cheap, it's already built into the iBlue, so why not take temperature readings at the same time? To me, it's just another point of data that's going to allow you to analyze your data a little bit more fully in the future. Now, I mentioned that ITAMCO developed this for themselves. So their main goal was, number one, that it would communicate with any mobile device, and number two, that it would be relatively inexpensive. And it is. This is $499. And remember, all you need is this box. It's the transmitter. You already have the receiver. If you have a Bluetooth device, you've already got your data receiver. You don't need to buy anything else other than whatever equipment you're going to tie into this. So you might be asking yourself, well, why if I have, let's say, a Mitotoyo uh, micrometer, why would I get the iBlue? Why don't I just go to Mitotoyo and get their wireless uh, system because they do have one? It's a great question. And to me, this is where it comes down to what do you need? Minitoyo does make a wireless system. I believe it's called the U-Wave. It's a great system. Uh, it allows you to monitor up to 99 devices at a time, but it's a transmitter and a receiver, and it hooks into a computer. It's not a mobile device. It's not intended to communicate to your smartphone. If you need that, then your choice is going to be something like this. The drawback on this is, obviously, one device at a time, not 99. So, but then again, it's only $500. So to me, what's important on this show is that you always understand what your trade-offs are. There are low-cost devices that do a great job, and if they fall within your needs, go low-cost is what I say. If you need something with the expanded capabilities that you might get from a Minitoyo wireless system or a Starrett wireless system or a micro-gauge, if you need that and, you're in, and the money isn't an object, uh, and it meets your needs, then that's the way that you have to go. So there's always these little trade-offs. Now, I mentioned that the iBlue only, comes, uh, only allows you one USB input. Uh, according to ITAMCO, um, next, uh, next quarter of next year, so the beginning of next year, they are going to update the firmware on this so that you could tie in, let's say, a multi-port uh, USB hub and connect multiple devices. So for instance, you might hook in a four-port USB hub, and that would allow you to hook up to maybe four USB devices instead of one, as it is right now. So this is the iBlue from iTamco. If you need more information on it, there is a link below the player page. And once again, thanks to iTamco for sending us the iBlue to look at today.